Hey guys, this is Ry123 here, and today I'm here with another Roblox scripting tutorial, and today we're going to be making a hint. Now, if you don't know what a hint is, a hint is that black message that appears at the top of your screen. It's like a black bar with white text, and it tells you stuff about the game, like who it's made by, like any stuff you should know like push K to fly I don't know I'm just guessing um, or just simply a welcome message so we're just gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna also try to explain and it's a really simple script but so I'm gonna use it to all, this time to also explain some stuff that I probably didn't explain very well last time so let's go ahead and just insert a script just right in the workspace so go ahead and delete hello world and right now we're just gonna set up a new variable which is going to be H and now what we want H to be is is whoa whoa hang on hang on hang on Whoa, when did Roblox get that? That's cool. They never used to have that before. Anyways, instant.new hint. So, this is how you create a new object using code. You instance.new. So, let's say if we put part in here, it would just make a new part. Now, if we want the hint to show up, though, we're going to have to put it in the workspace. So, <clears throat> we want the hints parent to be workspace. And I know uh, <clears throat> we did some parenting last time, but I didn't really explain it. So, technically, everything in workspace is a child, and workspace is their parent. Like, if you look over here, click on anything, and it'll say parent workspace. <clears throat> so,. And then this vehicle seat here, its parent is the car, just as the vehicle seat is a child to the car. So if we look, parent is car. So you'll get, if you don't understand, you'll make more sense of it as we go along throughout these tutorials. So now we want the hint to say something. So we're going to say h.text. The dot means that we want to change one of its properties or yeah change one of its properties and text is what we want it to say obviously so we're just going to say welcome to my game. So now it will show a black bar up here that says welcome to my game but if you were to test it out which I'm not going to do because it makes this really laggy it wouldn't work because it has nothing to say to run this script so what we're gonna do is say while while true do and then come down here and say end basically what this means is that whatever is in between this while true do and this end it will keep doing it forever and ever and if you just leave it like this it'll throw a continuous loop and crash your game so you're going to want to put a wait just anything will do you could just do like point one or one but since our words are saying the same we're just going to want to keep it short so let's go ahead and start our game and there it is there's our hint it just took a minute to load it says welcome to my game pretty easy huh now this would be a really short tutorial if I ended it off there so <clears throat> I'm going to show you let me just rename this so we know which one it is so I'm going to show you how to make it say other things and if you've had any coding experience before you probably already know what we're gonna do and it's really simple we're just gonna keep going on so now we're gonna say this place 
was made by and then your name so I'm gonna say Rai123 and then we're gonna wait three seconds and then let's change that to three seconds so I have enough time to read each of these messages so let's play Sorry guys, I'm kind of sick. Let's play and wait for our hint to load. And there it is. Welcome to my game, and if we wait three seconds, it says this place was made by Rai123, or your name. Um, there we go. So let's go ahead and stop. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So let me just go over what we learned. We learned a little bit, well not really, but we learned how to more about variables and we learned how to create a new object using code and we learned how to change an object's parent. <clears throat> and we also learned how to do a while true, this is called a loop. <clears throat> Sorry guys, this is called a loop which means it will do it forever and ever pretty much it will never stop We learned what a wait is it causes the computer to wait this script to stop for three seconds or whatever we have in here and Then we learned how to edit properties by using the period on the very crap by using the period in front of the variable and then saying the property we want to change and then we learned you know how to do text so that's pretty much it for this tutorial um thank you guys for watching and be sure to keep an eye peeled for the next one and that's all for this one so be sure to rate comment with some scripting tutorial ideas or suggestions or if you want me to show you how to script something for your game you're working on and be sure to leave a like and I think I said subscribe but subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye